today we'll be talking about open as well as arthroscopic tcc repair i'll try to keep it short tcc was first described by andrew palmer in 1981 by the time 2000 the in us it was a part of every fellowship program that wrist arthroscopy was a part of curriculum so palmer classified broadly into type 1 and type 2 tears type ones are usually traumatic type 2 uh, or degenerative uh, we'll just see the schematic diagram this is tcc looks like this is tcc it's uh, uh, inserting on the fovea of the ulna and it attaches to the capsule also superficial limb goes to the capsule deep one goes to the fovea foveal part gives the stability to the drj we can see this better in mri so if there is a tear here then mainly the patient will present as pain but if tear extends up to the fovea then instability also comes so uh, we'll come directly to the procedure trampoline test is uh, like uh, you uh, use a probe uh, on the tcc if it bounces back then most likely it is not 100% most likely the tcc is intact in india ink studies which were done it shows that per peripherally that is very well vascularized so tears in these areas are amenable to repair because of vascularity they will heal tears in the central area they are relatively avascular so even if we repair them healing is a problem so we'll be seeing some uh, one of the examples of peripheral tear so on arthroscopically when you are going through 3 and 4 portal you see the tear assess the tear and always debride uh, there is some amount of synovitis debride the edges once you have debrided the edges then you see assess your tear how it is going so this is the tear which is going u shape like this plus there is one tear longitudinal tear in the tcc it's a complex tear you pass in your needle through the needle you pass in your pds we use pds sutures because they are absorbable otherwise uh, non absorbable uh, proline usually uh, subcutaneously it impinges later on it gives a trouble so once you have passed the needle pass the suture through four or five portal you retrieve the suture outside so what we had seen on the arthroscopy you can see from outside so you pass another needle from the capsule here we are doing a capsuloplasty from the capsule with the loop inside the needle you retrieve retrieve the loop through the same portal from which uh, you had taken the earlier suture so your loop is retrieved outside once your loop is retrieved outside on outside view uh, we pour uh, pass the first suture pds suture through the loop and retrieve it outside so this is how one interrupted suture is formed and once you pull it you find that it uh, approximates the edges so same procedure we seeing from outside here we are passing the loop retrieving a loop uh, outside and in the loop we have that suture we had passed earlier it is passed through the loop so once you pull the loop you get retrieve that suture through the capsule outside so your it's a so now you have that loop is out so both ends are out so this is one one suture you have made so according to the tear you can make multiple sutures this was a complex tear in which we made three sutures so something like this so once you tie them you can see that all the edges are approximating so this is how you do the arthroscopic repair and when the tear is a little bit complex uh, once you tie them you, it, all, the, all the edges should approximate unless they approximate the healing won't be there so this is how uh, uh, final picture should look like uh, this is for uh, uh, tcc tears which are superficial but if it is coming from fovea there are other techniques techniques using a jig uh, this jig is by arthrex costs more than 2 lakh rupees um, if uh, you can afford it you can have it it makes life very easy so you pass suture through the bone through two tunnels and you fix it with the help of a uh, anchor which again costs around 20 25000 rupees so cost of the surgery uh, increases tremendously similarly you can use anchors on the bone and again sur same surgery can be done 
but we do little bit differently we do using a bony tunnel without using any anchors just using sutures so with the help of a uh, drill we pass in your k wire over the k wire you uh, uh, thread your needle over the k wire which acts as a guide wire so you are creating a tunnel with the help of a needle needle should be sharp need needle which can easily go through the bone or uh, and you just thread it over if you keep on rotating it you can go over it and through that needle you pass in your suture and similarly you retrieve it do the same procedure what we had done in capsule plasties we do it through the bony tunnels to get the fixation to the bone so this is the second tunnel we are making with the help of guide wire over the guide wire we'll just do the same procedure threading a needle 16 gauge needle works well like Praveen was showing for the scaphoid uh, uh, needle over this uh, guide wire, so you can do you know, drill the thing. So this is how it looks like. You have a good fixation. We'll see whatever we had seen earlier uh, on the arthroscopic thing. So inspect the tear. We won't go through. If there is a synovium, you just do the synovectomy with the help of a small shaver. Always. freshen the margins because unless you freshen the margins healing is a problem so the margins should be freshened and once your margins are freshened synovium is removed you uh, take a guide wire like we had done it from outside and it should come through the tacc like this the wire is there it's a 1 mm wire over this uh, you put a pass your 16 gauge needle so you are threading your needle over it once you have done that you can pass your suture so your needle is you can see your needle inside so there's a needle through this you can pass your sutures either you can use pds or nowadays we are using fiber fiber wire to to fiber wire um, because uh, it is much more secure and you do the same procedure again second needle second guide wire with the loop retrieve the loop once you have retrieved the loop outside and you pass in again uh, second so what we use is a mason allen type of uh, configuration a mattress suture goes through the bone and uh, interrupted suture goes through the tscc to the capsule so securing both limbs by two sutures and it works well it is giving us good results uh regarding open i'll quickly go through the open open technique is done by giving a incision uh between radius over the drg dorsal you uh, uh, dorsal branch of nose you sensory branch you should uh, preserve them ecu retract the ecu uh, go to the ecu sub sheath open the capsule once you have opened the capsule uh you are on the distal ulna you drill two holes see uh in two different direction and entry point should be same so that you get a bony bridge good amount of bony bridge otherwise you can use anchors also so once you have taken a suture through through the tscc uh, you can take a two o or number two fiber wire and once you have taken good secured suture through the tscc uh you use a retriever use a retriever retrieve the sutures through both tunnels both ends to separate tunnels and then you can tie a knot over it so what you do your tcc is now secured and attached to the fovea which was your entry point for the tunnel so this procedure is fairly simple uh not uh, Uh, not much of implants or things are required only thing is your closure should be good you should close your capsule and sub sheet and you should be saving your uh, dorsal branches sensory branches because that those can be painful so uh, regarding literature if we, the, the, there was a article which was as recent as uh, uh, last year it's a review article in which all the um, studies were done from 1985 to 200 uh, 2016 was studied and they found that uh, 
डीआरजी स्टेबिलिटी वाइज रेंज ऑफ मोशन ग्रेस स्ट्रेंथ वाइज देयर इज नो नॉट मच डिफरेंस बिटवीन ओपर एंड मर्सिस आर्थोस्कोपिक बट वन स्टडी शोड दैट देयर इज अ डेफिनेट बेटर इंप्रूवमेंट इन डैश स्कोर्स इन आर्थोस्कोपिक सर्जरी आर actually in this study duration to return to work was not compared so that is uh, one of the advantages of any, any minimal access surgery that return to work is easier rehab is faster again another paper which i would like to share is uh, this was again 2015 in which whenever there is a volar subluxation of radius over the ulna the deep part of the uh, uh, ligament which is disrupted so for this uh, repair of this ligament the approach was used was volar volar approach and uh, which was again repaired in the open method open way like we had described earlier so that was a other thing which we i wanted to discuss uh, regarding the results uh, arthroscopic uh, repair it is definitely uh, uh, scores are better after the surgery few complication transient paresthesias from the ulnar nerve anchor migration in the one case and to to prevent the nerve complication you should do a, whenever you're tying your sutures they sh- you should look for to isolate the nerve separate the nerve before tying a knot because usually injury is because when you're tying a knot the nerve entangles between it uh, and conclusion i would say arthroscopic repair is very safe procedure and long term results of both open and arthroscopic Uh, are similar in uh, k- uh, when you are comparing stability range of motion but return to work is definitely faster and minimally excess surgery thank you mm-hmm.